on top of the eventually the lowest layer become much thicker than the layer close to the surface. Finally, the snow participle can take any more pressure. So they melt and then refresh to form ice. Okay. Not bad for your first reading. That was three minutes and 28 seconds. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, when you're reading, you always want to read the title, Glaciers on the Move, okay. because that will tell you what the selection, meaning story, is about. Whenever you take a test, there will always be questions about the title. For so the that's, title. Mm -hmm, that's why we read the title. Okay, you did a good job. You are the only student that pronounced Yosemite correctly. <laughs> Thank you. You, I heard Yosemite. I've heard everything, but you are correct. Yosemite. Okay. Yosemite. Mm -hmm. This word, scientist, I'll write it out. You said something totally different, but it's okay. What? Uh, the word is scientist. Let me find it for you. I'll write the, the sentence out. It's in the beginning of the third paragraph because it had a broken neck. Science. Sentences? So, right, that's what Science. you said. But a scientist. scientist, I say, you say, scientist. Scientist. One more time, scientist. Scientist. Mm -hmm. Scientist concluded. Scientist that, concluded. Mm -hmm, that the, the animal. The animal have. Mm -hmm. We have failed. Okay, so here's the thing: falling. You falling. Right. You're you're using the wrong tense. So you kept saying fail, had fail, uh, fail when it falls. So let's take a look at those tenses. So falling. I say, you say falling. Fallen mm -hmm. into oh. the huge as fall. So we have the word fallen, and then we have fallen. the word falls. Falls. Mm -hmm. These are two words in the story that you you said in the wrong tense. So you said had failed. So in this sentence, along with the word scientist, we have fallen wow. into a huge. huge crack in the glacier. Glacier. Mm -hmm. So let's underline those. So scientist fallen and then because the, the word fallen or falls will appear several times in this story because we're talking about glaciers we're talking about snow and ice so if we look back over here on the second in the second column it says when fresh snow falls on top of the last year's snow, its weight presses the snowflakes underneath together to form a coarse material called fern. So we're gonna put that in the sentence. I'm gonna write the sentence for you. When it's, it's in the second paragraph of the second column.
ఉండండి These are some long sentences. They are what we call complex sentences. Okay, Daniel, please read the sentence. The number one. There. When, when fresh snow fallen on top of the oh. last year's fall. Falls on top of the last year, snow its way process to the snowflakes underneath together to form a coarse material calling calling firm. Mm -hmm. Years mm -hmm. year after years, more layers of snow, layers layers of snow fell on top the from the front. More snow means more weight and more pressure. The crystal deep inside the snow pile, pile are crushed and compa compacted by, by the weight on the layer. Layers on top of them. Eventually, the lowers, layers became much More? thicker. Eventually, the lower layers. The low, the weight on the layers, layers. Eventually, the lower layers become much thicker than the layers close to the surface. Finally, there is no part particles can take any more pressures. So they melt and then re refresh to form ice. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this word surface. You said surface earlier, but face, surface. Surface. Mm -hmm. Good. So you do very so. well, Daniel, with words that are a little bit more complicated for your classmates. Um, Again, it just seems from this reading, it's just the little small words, mostly the tense itself. It's, it's not that I, I, I think that you have a problem reading the words, but what happens is we're used to seeing a word one way. And so our mind, as we're reading it, sees it the same way. For instance, fallen falls. If you're not used to seeing that word, you say fail or had failed. But there are different tenses of that word. So now let's take a look at the definitions, the, the words that are in bold, and we're going to define them. So the first word in the story is extinct. I say, you say, extinct. 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 Mm -hmm. Ex extinct. Extinct. All right, so what I always like to do is go to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, okay? You can go mm -hmm. online, you don't have to have a hard copy. Merriam-Webster.com, make a note of that if you do not have that written down, uh-oh, sorry, in your notes. So whenever you are unsure of how to 
say a word or you don't know what the word is, you can go to merriamwester.com. This is the best resource that anyone, a student or a teacher can have. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we can put in that word extinct. E-X-T-I-N. And if we're not sure how to spell it, it has the predictive text. So as we're typing it, it shows us, ah, extinct. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, the good thing about Merriam-Webster, Daniel, is that you can click on this audio button and it will tell you how to pronounce the word. Oh, okay. Extinct. 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 Mm -hmm. So you can see it's two very different ways. Extinct. 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 Okay, so what